The fire extinguisher won't work, but I know how Topless Gun... I know how he operates. There. Did the sausage put it out? It did not put it out. Hello, everybody. Great to We're back with more My Summer Zone of Fire. That's right. My Summer Car has gotten yet another update. What did it add? Did it add ways to make ourselves happy and less depressed? No. It added another way to die. I expect nothing less from Topless Gun. I actually do appreciate it. From what I understand, there, I don't know if you boys know, but there may be some, uh, some map changes here in the future. And this is obviously, like, way in the future. Apparently, I'm somewhat drunk as well. I just noticed this now. This is way in the future, but, uh, the developer was talking potentially about, like, a My Winter Car one day. I mean, this is still in, this is still an early access, so don't expect too much right now. But anyway, one of the things that we have to do is, supposedly, we can now set the entire house on fire. Crap, where did I put the car? I think, our, I think the boat is by the dock, but I think our car is, like, over by the waste treatment plant. But anyway... We can set the house on fire. As a matter of fact, while I'm talking about the fires that we're about to be setting and the sadness that's going to be pervasive through our entire family as our one place of residency burns down to the ground, I should probably get a fire extinguisher. Actually, you know what? We have two places of residency now. We own Satan's house. I totally forgot about that. Yes. Glumpsy, go ahead and give me a fire extinguisher. I don't know if I'm actually going to use this or not. I just kind of want to have it just to see if it does anything. Have a good one, Tabo. Always good to do business with you. After all, I'm putting your 35 children that you've had with your cheating hoe wife through college. Although I don't know how much college is in, uh, is in Finland. I, you know, I try and remember, like, people say every once in a while about how much things cost. But I can't remember if the education in Finland, the higher education, the college-style education, is free? Is that, does that cost you guys money? Or is that something you gotta fork over cash for? I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you know. Over here in the United States, it really ranges, man. Seriously, you could have one college that costs a freaking fortune, which is how it was where I used to live. That's why I didn't go to college there. Or you could have another college that's damn near free, which is where I did go to college. Right over here, we... Oh, crap. Is my car not over here? There's the sad mobile. I remember we took, I remember we took the craptastic vehicular homicidal thing. Remember that, um, that rust bucket? We were driving that all over the place, but I can't remember where we put it. I remember we brought the, the boat over here. All right, there's our buddy. Yeah, there is, there is definitely not a car over, oh, never mind. I was totally wrong. There's a, what is this? <laughs> no. Where are my tires? What kind of, what kind of freaking auto theft is this? You didn't even take the whole car. You just took my tires off. I can't even move this thing. Crap. I'm gonna, this, this is messed up. They didn't just take the tires, boys. They took all the beer as well. Cause you know, I'm pretty sure I always have a stash of beer and sausage in here. There's no way. There is no way that this car is sitting here clean like this. Look at the inside of this car. There's no such thing. It's never been like this. Did I clean this? Did I did I do this because you guys finally like it? I, you guys finally told me enough to clean my car, and I did. I knew it. I knew I should have never cleaned this thing. Ah, oh, come on. Well, I hope you're all happy. Raining, raining in the summer. Wet. I'm carrying a freaking fire extinguisher around. I should have been carrying around a case of beer, but I could only hold one thing at a time. I think that's probably, uh, that's probably the thing I'd like to see next. Topless, we've got two arms, man. Even on a, even as a sad, spindly little 18-year-old Finnish boy, I feel like we could carry more than one item. Like, at the very least, maybe I could put my, my fire extinguisher on top of my case of beer. I think that that's what anyone Finnish would do. Realistically, I think that's why the case of beer has such a, a flat top, so you can carry all of the other less necessary items on top of it. This is a big ass house. Hold on. Am I, am I going crazy, or was this house always here? This is like a way bigger house than all the other houses. Hold on a damn minute. Is this? Was this? Oh. Oh, there's like, 
It was like kind of an interior. I was, I'm slowly sliding through the house. You guys are gonna have to let me know in the comments section. Was this always here? Man, I feel like, I feel like I would have noticed something this big. I, I, to be fair, I mean, I miss all kinds of crap, so it's totally possible. Oh, that reminds me too. Apparently, supposedly, and I do want to see if we can find it. There may or may not be a UFO in this game. Certain individuals of repute have noticed odd flying nights, or odd flying lights in the night. There we go. Odd flying lights in the night. Right at around dusk, they say. If you look out by the water, you will notice potential extraterrestrial beings. I want to kind of look for those, too. So thirsty. Oh. Oh, so thirsty. I, I hate I hate to do this to you guys, but we're gonna probably have to have like maybe four or five beers before we get started on our mission here. We're about to do a little little BUI in just a second, because we gotta go boating in the freaking storm over here. But before we do, our thirst went down wickedly quick. So I'm gonna make sure that we're nice and hydrated. And there's no better way. Get out of here. There's no better way. To hydrate yourself, then with a delicious Kavala beer. Oh, Finland, how I've missed you with your freaking ADD level weather that you got going on. Rains five minutes, sunny the next. I can't really say that it's much different over here in Florida. I've I've had an instance, and you guys are gonna have to let me know. I had an instance where, in one hand, there was no rain. In the other hand, it was raining. So you could stand in the middle of the street and literally the rain would just stop like a friggin' like a like a sheet, like a pane of glass was in front of it. And half of you would get drenched and the other half of you would be totally fine. You guys got to let me know if you ever had anything like that happen to you. It's weird, but it happens over here. Uh, I'm boating around over here. What is that in the water? Right there? What the hell is that? Oh! Now I remember where the car was. We were testing out how well it works underwater. <laughs> oh, it's the car. Oh, there it is. Just sitting right there. Sorry about that car. Forgot all about it. Oh, there's a moped as well. Oh, everything's here. Crap. Okay, well, um, I mean, on the plus side, I found everything. This is why that freaking vehicle was so rusty. Probably the same way the last person used it. I wonder if there's anything new under the water, like, did anything change under here? Nope. That's about the smoothest plot of earth you can possibly get over here in Finland. Go ahead and grab our fire extinguisher. Got a couple cases of beer out here. I'm pretty sure I have beer back at the house, though. Oh, crap! No! It's begun! What the hell? I did Oh, it's because the sauna has was been on the whole time! No! The house is already on fire! Crap! We didn't even start it! We- I mean, I know it's cliche, but we didn't start the fire! I mean, technically we did by having the sauna on, but that wasn't my intent! It's okay, though! We have this fire extinguisher! We have this fire extinguisher! We can do this! We can stop it! Oh, the fire's gotten pretty bad. Alright, hold on. Let's get- No, I don't want to use the fire extinguisher. OH, JESUS! OH! Alright! We got it, boys! We got it! This- I- Wow, we're like right in the middle of fire. We're still alive. We're freaking fireproof. Everything in this game kills us except for a sauna fire. Come on, baby. All right, it's in here somewhere. I'll bet. This is the this is the source of the fire. Come on. Smoke in the no. Oh, whores! I should have freaking saved. No. Da, 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> Not again! Ah, my Koli Um Uma Kotalin Tupelosa Periavia people. It was only a matter of time. Ah, oh, it was only a matter of time. <laughs> Rap. Well. Uh, all right. I feel like we should do a little bit more testing on how this house fire thing works. 
All right, no one sets my house on fire but me. Excuse me while I run into every wall. I haven't even had that much to drink. Okay, so clearly the sauna will freaking wreck your day. Um, let's just real quick. We need to do a little bit more testing. All right, that's going off because Lord knows. Actually, you know what? Hold on, I might as well just take a quick shower over here. There we go. Also, I just noticed something. Was this always like this? If you if you press the P button really fast, the dirtiness meter shoots up. Is that because we're freaking slapping around our meat sausage or something? What's going on over here? I get and also topless gun. Hold on. If it, if this is some sort of masturbatory simulation that we're a part of right here, shouldn't this reduce the stress meter? I feel like this should reduce the stress meter. If you're beating around your freaking Roman legionnaire beef spear, the stress meter should definitely go down. But as we can see very clearly from the from the various white lines that continue to grow in number every time he updates the game, it definitely does not go down. Also, why can't I drink the shower? I wish I could drink the shower. All right. There's that. We're gonna go ahead and grab a quick swig right out of the tap, that delicious finished water. All right, now that our house is not in imminent danger of exploding, let's um let's do a little bit of testing ourselves. I kind of want to see if we can start the fire. Let me grab. Hold on. Get what case of money? Come out of here. I don't want I don't want you to get set on fire. Our fireplace over here. You can start this now, right? I I seem to remember that we were able to start this. Hold on. Let's grab some firewood and check it out. You know it's grave save when, like, out in the middle of nowhere, just out in a random grassy field, there's a packet of sugar just laying on the ground randomly. Like, there's no reason for that to be there. I honestly don't know how it got there. I feel like I just, I run around in this game randomly, and I crash, and I flip all the cars, and I die everywhere. And one way or the other, I, I just, I always seem to get things cascading out of the various vehicles it's still homo hyper clean sure is cascading out of my vehicles left and friggin right do i have anything to drink in here am i out of beers there's got to be some beers in the front i'm gonna worry about that later though can we start the fire over here that's what i'm curious about if we can start can you do this over here oh oh you can okay good all right i have a plan so the plan is is i think that we still have a, yeah, I was gonna say like either a diesel or gasoline. I don't know if there's any gas in here. I'm pretty sure there is. We had either a diesel or a gasoline tank in here. Oh, that was interesting. I just slapped the door open with the gasoline can. Whatever. I think that this will probably allow us to start the house fire. All right, you just lay over there. Oh, it's green on green. I planned that. That was totally like HGTV level. Start the fire. All right, we got fire going. Now, you want to do this safely, everyone, so make sure that you have eye protection on, all right, when you go ahead and throw your gas right into the fire. Whoa! Oh, it totally worked! It totally worked! Crap! Crap! Okay! Okay! Oh, right in the middle of the fire! Ah! Ah! Okay, I didn't want to die right off the bat, but holy crap, that friggin' fire spread fast! Wow! That's what I'm talking about, man! If we had the second gas, I wonder if we could throw it inside and get, like, another explosion. I'm not gonna lie, I have no idea where the diesel's at. Uh, it must be in one of our cars. Uh, I don't know. You know what? I have an idea. You boys know you can't get- Did we lose our entire- <laughs> Our entire roof is gone! Holy god! Okay. I was gonna say, you can't keep a good Jonez down. I wonder if this will explode if we throw it inside. Holy crap! This fire is like legit. All right, we'll throw that in there. There we go. How's the Jonez feel about that? Now this is two stroke. So I'm not sure exactly what would happen. The, uh, the garage still looking okay. Hold on, I think we can get this a little bit further. I don't want to die though. That's the only problem. I know this is contradictory, but ugh! Come on, get in there. Get inside the house. Get inside the house for the Look at all the black char and everything that's happening. Whoa. All right, yep, the flames are starting to reach the front of the house. I wonder how the I wonder how the the image of the house changes. Like 
does the black char just kind of like slowly overtake the wood? That's what you get, mom and dad. You want to leave old 18 year old Finnish boy out here alone with beer, sausage, and friggin' gasoline? This is what ha- oh, you know what? Speaking of which, hold on, we can fix this. The fire extinguisher won't work, but I know how Topless Gun- I know how he operates. There. Did the sausage put it out? It did not put it out. I feel like that sausage may be slightly well done. Um... It would be awesome, actually, if you could throw- if you could throw fish in here, and it would cook the fish. This fire! Is seriously oh the fire is like the fire spasming out. That's kind of kind of par for the course in this game, but it's like sweet rave party fire time. What is going on with the fire right now? Whoa, whoa, whoa. okay, all right, yep. No, are we done? Are we done fire? We're done. We're not done. We're not done at all. Is there any crap inside of this vehicle that I could spew all over the fire? Is it full? It looks like it's full. Hold on. We may be able to fix this. Great to the rescue, boys. Great of the rescue! We freaking got this! Hold on. And turn this thing around right over here. Right into our bedroom. Right into our bedroom. Everything's gonna be fine. I cannot see anything. Hold on, let me close this door. Here we go. Right into our bedroom. Turn it, turn it, turn it. Look at this back job, man! Look at that right there. Alright, slam into the wall. We're set. Turn this on. Open up the door. Okay. Alright. Over here. Let her rip! Here we go! We may be able to put out the fire with this. I'm not sure about the heat conductivity of human fecal material. I'm not sure about how well it works in extinguishing fires. I can't say I've ever tried to put out a raging inferno with rectal blow. Uh, it doesn't really seem to be doing very much other than creating a awful brown stain over everything. Oh, that was my other bed. <laughs> no. If the house burns down, that's gonna be my only bed that's nearby. Crap. Well, this is quite a scene. What do you tell the police when they come to take this report? Pull up to the pull up the driveway here. Notice a house ablaze. Pink colored seat out here in the front lawn. Crap. Literally spewed everywhere. All over the ground, inside of the house. Tanker backing up to the window. The house is like this house is made out of matchsticks or something. I've never seen Well, I shouldn't say that. I was gonna say I've never seen anything burn quite so well, but uh down here We've got a lot of wooden stilt houses on the water by the beach I've seen a couple of them on fire before and uh They go up just like this it's like someone Lathered them down in kerosene jelly or something last last idea last idea it's possible we can- nope, never mind. Didn't have enough urine on me. Uh, okay, hold on. If there's some beers out here, we may be able to get our urine meter way up, and we may be able to put this fire out that way. Alright, just gotta crank down some of these beers over here. The Cavalli- the Ca the, the, the Nivalan or the Cavalla or whatever it is beers. This is probably not going to help our police report. Like when the police show up and we're like, I'm sorry, officer, I had no idea. And they're like, is that, did you put a gas can in the fireplace? What, what excuse do you have for that? And you're like, oh, I thought it was empty. I'm pretty sure there's probably a warning label on it. Remember the warning label on the chainsaw? Be sure to keep spinning chain away from hands and genitalia. I'll bet there's a warning label on gas cans that says something like keep away from open flame. I almost guarantee there is. I've got gas cans out in my garage. I can go check. But I just feel that that's probably legitimate. All right. Right over here, we're starting to get a little wasted. I'm not going to lie. Uh, things are actually getting a little bit sour here. But we should have enough urinade now to potentially fight back against the fire. All right, let her rip. Let her rip. Here we go. That's right, the yellow stream pouring out. Vision starting to get a little sour. Things are going a bit sideways. It's actually looking like the fire is getting stronger as we piss on it. This was not at all my intent. Our house is completely and utterly destroyed. The Jonas is fine. <laughs> the Jonas completely... Oh, I'm out of here and all I'm doing now is yanking on my freaking Frankfurter over here. My, uh, my, uh, finished sausage, so to speak. You know how it is. Just making sure it still works and everything. Uh, I think we may have screwed up the house, folks. 
I think the house may be a goner. Oh no! The finish flag, I can't even take it off the wall. Crap. All right, battery inside of an open flame test. What would happen? Topless gun, how realistic is your game? Uh. And I don't know, how long would it take before there was some sort of reaction? To be fair, I can't ever say that I've taken a car battery and thrown it into a giant bonfire. That was never on my like big to-do list. Well, boys, there's only one way out of this. I can't think of any other way to deal with this fire other than to drink ourselves into a giant stupor. It's the only thing I can think of. If we fall asleep, the flames might finally be done when we come to. We still have our uh, our fish piss beer over by the, the uh, wood cutting shed. I should have brought that over because that'll get us freaking knocked over quick. Sorry, mom. Sorry, dad. I have failed you. I have failed you greatly. I don't know if this is gonna be enough beer to get us to pass out. That's a problem. All right, that was our last beer. Uh, things are things are going a little fish-eyed. But I don't think we're gonna pass out. Oh, you know what? Let me turn the truck off. I've decided we can probably just sleep through this. You can see how quickly this seat gets clean. It's made of some very, very special fecal resistant material. So if we get a little bit of shut eye on here, let's go to sleep. Does the fire continue like where it left off or does time go forward? I would feel like the fire just continues where it left off. Oh, it's nighttime. The fire is still very much raging. The sun is starting to go down. Oh, I wonder if we'll get to see the UFO. Aliens, if you're out there, I have left you a sign. In order to get contact with extraterrestrials, I've set, I've set our house on fire. I can't think of any greater sacrifice. I mean, all of the sausage and beer in the fridge is gone now. I have sacrificed probably... 12,000 freaking marks in sausage and beer. D what, what more could you want? What more could you possibly want from me? I don't think we're going to get to see any aliens. This sucks. I'm out here drinking a freaking milk of all things. What does this world come to? I'm out here drinking a gravity defying milk. The house burning in the distance. I did, however, find two more cases of beer. So I'm pretty happy about that. We've got the freaking shakes from the hangover. I still haven't seen any freaking aliens yet. Stress meters through the roof. House is on fire. No ETs or anything like that rearing their freaking faces. Just cursing randomly now. I didn't even press that curse. I think because our stress meter is getting so high. Our poor guy is just cursing himself now. I'm pretty sure that the cause of this is the house on fire. I definitely feel that way. We have screwed this house up good. Look at the inside. Oh, the case of money is still fine. I've got good news and I've got bad news. The good news is we're not hung over anymore. The bad news is the house is still burning. It's still burning. Like there's no way to stop this raging fire. There's, like, is there any material left? I guess the porch is still here. It could still completely destroy the porch. The inside of the house is gutted. Like, there is nothing left but the brick. Anything that's not brick has turned into this delicious charcoal. It's the dead of night. The house is still on fire. No joke, this house has been burning for like 30 minutes straight. Like 30 minutes game time straight well re real life time you know what i mean like the time that it takes me to watch the house burn still haven't seen any aliens or what was that that's just a normal light right what is that oh that's probably the guy that's not an alien that's probably the the that's probably trogdar isn't it just driving around i'm pretty sure that's what that would be the the ufo was like a trio of lights i think that's just one drunken light. Well, uh, we didn't see any aliens. We drank a lot of beer. And we absolutely got a front row seat to seeing our house on fire. I think that's going to be all the time we have today, though. Mess around in my summer car. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Until the next time, stay foxy and much love.